from outside at this hour. My friends, here's a look at Daytona Beach where the Halifax is nice and quiet. It has been a bit of a gusty wind all day today, but we've already begun to see that calm as temperatres are sitting right at 60 degrees in Volusia County in Daytona Beach. Just down the road, it is 59 in New Smyrna Beach, 59 also in Deland, but 61 for Sanford, Orlando and also Ocala, about 62 degrees down here in Winter Haven. Now comparing temperatures to yesterday afternoon, we are just a little bit warmer across town, especially in our southern communities, five, six, seven degrees warmer. But when we check in on our satellite and our radar, things are nice and clear and with calming winds and clear skies, frost is a concern, which is why the National Weather Service went ahead and issued a frost advisory for all of Central Florida for overnight, basically three, four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. And a frost advisory just means that areas of frost are expected, but widespread possible in locations. The big takeaway is if you've got those real pretty sensitive plants, you want to put a sheet or something over just to help to keep kind of the frost from developing right on the flowers and plants. Now that said, areas here in purples where I've kind of highlighted the biggest threat, the greatest risk, if you will. West Volusia County for all of Marion County, Sumter County, basically Western Lake County, areas away from the metro area for sure. And then back here out toward Lake Washington and Brevard County and communities just inland across town. So there's the clear sky. Seven o'clock temperatures will be down to 56 degrees. We'll hit 50 by nine o'clock and continue downhill from there, eventually settling in to 40 as I join you on West 2 News at 11 o'clock. Overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, this is the actual low temperature regime. 37 in Ocala and the villages. It's 38 in Sanford, 41 in the metro, but just south, just outside of the metro, we find readings in the upper 30s here. Even 36 in Melbourne. It's those buildings in downtown that are going to hold in that heat. As we look ahead to your Tuesday forecast, upper 60s for Marion County, just about the rest of us in the 70s. It will be a beautiful beautiful day, though a little bit warmer courtesy of these southerly winds. That's going to help to bring those temperatures up just a little bit. And that also means maybe you're going to head to the beach. We've got great news here. Seas, surf, all running one to two feet. There is a moderate risk of rip currents, but I think that even that will be a, a little bit more relaxed as we get you into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which ironically is right when those temperatures climb. So here's a look at Central Florida's most accurate seven-day forecast. It's a chilly, frosty start to the day tomorrow, but a great rebound. 71 in the afternoon, 74 on Wednesday. We'll get to near 80 degrees Friday into Saturday. Then that's when models say our next frontal boundary will slide on through and help to drop those temperatures off just a little bit. The important thing, no severe weather. Heck, hardly any chance of a sprinkle in the entire seven day, guys. All right. Thanks, you, Eric.